A lot of heat coming off this bike. Hey everybody, it's Dick here. This is part one of three videos where I have divided up my full-length 45-minute video reviewing the Indian Super Chief Limited into bite-sized and manageable YouTube-length episodes for the more time-starved or attention-deficit burdened among my viewers. If you've already watched a full-length video, save yourself any more wasted time on this motorcycle and check out one of my other fascinating and entertaining videos. If not, settle in and enjoy. Today, I'm riding the all-new 2022 Indian Super Chief Limited. The Super Chief Limited is powered by a 116 cubic inch or 1890 cc Thunderstroke V-twin engine. The air-cooled engine has acclaimed 120 foot-pounds of torque and a whopping 79 brake horsepower. It has a six-speed transmission, 46-millimeter front telescoping forks, dual externally mounted rear shocks with adjustable preload, a single 300-millimeter floating rotor four-piston caliper on the front, and a single 300-millimeter floating rotor two-piston caliper on the back. The Super Chief Limited has 16-inch spoked wheels on the front and back. It comes with saddlebags, a windshield, running boards, and a four-inch TFT display where riders can adjust the bike to its three rider modes and access its integrated satellite navigation system. Let's see how this behemoth rides. So the chief is now keyless. This little fob hides somewhere in your pocket, don't lose it. The Indian TFT is now integrated into this round dial. You got s thunder and lightning. It's loading. This is all touch screen. We got gauges. You can switch gauges between these two gauges. We got bike stats battery voltage, fuel economy, mileage, range for fuel, <laughs> weather. You can get stats on your riding including elevation, distance, moving time, stop time, overall ride time. This bike has 64 miles on it. It's got integrated sat nav. Here we are. It's finding where I am. I'm on the coast here at sunny Bournemouth. Uh, what else? Controls. I have three riding modes. Standard, Tour, which is apparently tame, and Sport, which is pretty torquey, I'm told. I rode down to the shore on Standard. It seemed fine. Tour, I'm told, puts a really lazy throttle response. I don't think there's traction control on this. I'm pretty sure most Indians don't have traction control, so I'm pretty sure that this is all about throttle response. I'm going to keep it in standard for the first bit of the ride. <laughs> Just before we set off, I want to show you how ridiculous this kickstand is. I have about a 30-inch inseam, and I'm struggling to get the end of the kickstand to kick it up. And these boards, these running boards, are like size 14s. So I just turned it off. <laughs> I turned the power mode off trying to turn the bike on. So this works with gloves, which is helpful. 
Hey everybody, it's Dick here. I'm on the all new Indian Super Chief. It is a 116 cubic inch push rod V-twin. It's set inside a tubular frame, which is unusual for Indian other than it's FTR. And it doesn't have all of the accoutrement of the fairings and dashboards and speakers and all of the weight and all the shit that has kept me off of large displacement Indians in the past. It's actually a very, well not very, but a reasonably life motorcycle compared to their other offerings. I am not a fan of the push rod motor. I always feel Unless the sound of the engine is being masked by some really nice rumbly pipes. And for stock Euro 5 pipes, these pipes sound pretty good. Especially on the kind of vacuum induction that you get when you roll off the throttle. I always feel like a pushrod engine V-twin is going to just rattle itself to death. I always feel like something's wrong with it. This has 64 miles on it, so I'm pretty sure nothing's wrong with it. It just is the nature of the push rod engine. It's not as torquey as the Scout. I'm in standard mode. It has three riding modes. Tour, which is tame. Standard, which is what I'm in now, and Sport. It's got this TFT display that is actually quite nicely nested in that round dial there so that we don't have to look at a little Game Boy or a, a Samsung Galaxy something or other. It's... I'm always underwhelmed by big American V-twins. I do kind of like these sweeping handlebars. It's a shiny cruiser. It's a shiny cruiser a la 19, no, 2002. And we're, and it's a 2022, so we're, we're about 20 years behind the curve on this. It is Euro 5 compliant, so it's gonna it's gonna replace all of those defunct Harleys that can't meet or don't want to meet Euro 5 standards. If I open it up, if I trust the fact that the engine won't fly itself apart, that's where it is. It's a big, it's a straight line highway cruiser. I got lots of vibrations in my ass way up in my ass holy cow fanny you should sit on this holy cow that was a lot of vibrations this is not rev very high oh, i'm going to turn off the map and see if i can get some rev settings gauges there we are 3500 rpm well i'm getting lots of vibration i'm sorry i'm getting distracted by vibrations right off the bat but 2500 rpm up to 3,500 RPM. Very torquey, very fast, but 4,000 RPM is rattling itself apart and I'm getting sexually satisfied in my anus right now. This thing could turn me gay. Under 2,000 RPMs, it's boring. Yeah, I took it out out of curiosity and out of courtesy. And I'm about as impressed with it as I thought I'd be. These things don't really float my boat. I was told that these unfaired large displacement cruisers are being offered by Indian because the Scout gets a bad rap. The radiator on the Scout, the frame on the Scout, it gets a bad rap. The weight is really great on this. The balance is really great on this. I'm sorry to keep jumping around, because this is how I get to know a bike. You can feel the weight is really low. It's about 50 kilos more than a Scout, but it feels as light. It's a bit taller in the seat. The seat's more comfortable than the Scout. Scout seat gets me right in the coccyx. It's, uh, uh, it's bothersome in the coccyx after about an hour. This thing is, it cups my ass a little better. Standard mode, the fueling is very off on. 
it's very jerky. You can see the suspension dive when I when I roll off the throttle. I am in first gear. Let's see. No, second gear, same thing. The throttle, is, the, the fueling is as as choppy as the other Indians I've ridden. I am on a big fat cruiser and I do feel comfortable filtering through here. So there is something to say about the balance and the weight and the narrowness. These are big sweeping handlebars and my feet are way out on these size 14 platforms. You know, it, Indian, in its scouts and its FTRs, has said, Harley who? And then, this is a bit confusing to me, this, this exercise in the chief. Even with their big fared chief and chieftains and Springfields and all their other bullshit, it was always, it was always like, ooh, Polaris has uh, put their own victory stamp on the Indian brand and they went, Harley who? But this is definitely a Harley chaser. This is, this wants to be a Harley. This wants to replace the Harley, I think. It's got a pushrod motor. It's using the 116. Formerly the Chief was a 111, 111 or 112. But it's using the cubic inches so you don't scare people with the, with the CCs on this. It's probably 1800 CCs. But this is definitely like, oh, oh look, look, uh, that looks just like a Harley, which, Seems like a backpedaling a bit on the Indian Polaris or the Polaris Indian playbook. I think they have something really special in the Scout and as long as they don't get apologetic about it, they can go pretty far with it. I think this is, this reminds me of any of those Harleys that Fanny test rode when she was looking her, for her bike and I, and, and I know why she chose the Scout over those Harleys because there's so much more character, there's so much more power, there's so much more grunt. It's heavier than the Scout, so you don't, it doesn't feel as torquey, doesn't feel as fast. It's got a longer wheelbase and it's taller. So it's kind of this lopey, lopey cruiser that can go fast in the quarter mile on a straight line. I'm trying to get it out on the highway to see maybe maybe that's where it is. It's a highway cruiser. It's got a windshield, it's got bags. This is the Super Chief. Top of the range. Every Chief comes with this TFT display, which the more I'm riding this thing, the less I know I'll be using it, so I kind of miss old needles and dials. But there's a lot of good information packed into that little rondel there, so I don't hate it. I don't hate it. The transmission feels like an old cruiser. You clunk, clunk, clunk. I'm pushing the indicator, but self-canceling indicators. So that's pretty neat. It's interesting the technology that they've poured into this because I think most of the time the American bikes don't really offer the technology that the European bikes offer or the Japanese bikes offer. But this is offering a bit of technology. No traction control, but you got some rider modes that affect the throttle response. I hate these windshields though because I never know whether to look over it or under it. I get this kind of parabolic thing happening. With my height, I'm looking right at the seam of the windshield. I end up getting this kind of double vision of the rim of the windshield, and I don't really feel how fast I'm going either. I, I've always taken windshields off of bikes that I have, because I like the feel of wind. Air-cooled, air-cooled engine, so you don't have the radiator that people complain about on the, the other Indians 
So again, you know, an apologetic choice. Like, oh, I'm sorry, there's a radiator. I don't know what they did to this air-cooled engine to meet Euro 5 to keep it air-cooled. But it's air-cooled and I can feel the heat. I'm wearing kind of insulated riding gear right now because it was cold coming down to the coast and I can feel the heat through the pants. So the engine's really hot. There's a huge engine cover on my left side on the clutch side and I can only imagine it's that kind of primary drive that these push rod motors have but it's big and fat and my short legs hit it right below the calf when I try and put my feet down. If you like that video and you want to see more like them hit like share and subscribe.